Heat Signature is a fast-paced but tactical top-down shooter with roguelike elements and a charming, unintrusive sense of humor. The game has a big focus on pausing and slowing down time, but manages to never feel slow. Most of the time you are dealing with several different enemies or environmental hazards at the same time, and the pausing and slowdown allows you to use several different weapons and tools within a fraction of a second to deal with them. In a market with massive saturation of indie titles, I didn't originally expect a whole lot when I first heard about this game. However, after trying it and learning about it, I've come to discover that this is an absolute gem, and a game that I would recommend everybody should try at least once. The quality of this game is especially impressive as it was designed, coded, and written by a single person, Tom Francis. Tom Francis is a legend in my eyes, the way he develops the game, listens to his community, and makes design decisions that leave everyone happy. Even just recently, the game had a massive update titled the Space Birthday Update, which brought with it new mechanics, enemies, hazards, and a ton of quality of life changes. However, with such a large update, there were some people that were upset that they could no longer experience the game the way that it was played before the changes. Now with pretty much any other game, that'd be the end of it. Those players would have to live with those changes and just deal with it. But Tom Francis had a creative idea to make even those people happy. He utilized Steam's ability to have a separate build of the game normally intended for early beta builds and instead loaded the version of the game before the Space Birthday update into it. Gameplay Heat Signature manages to be an incredibly fast-paced action shooter, while at the same time allowing you to slow down and pause the fight at critical moments to perfect your plan without ruining your flow. On every mission, you'll have a dozen different ways you can approach every fight. Depending on your preferences, you can go in guns a-blazing or sneak around and melee kill enemies, or just teleport through an entire ship without ever even being spotted. Even with such simple objectives as stealing an object from a ship, you'll find a lot of depth in the strategies you build to get there. For me, this game always left me feeling satisfied and never overly frustrated. If I was dying, it was because I could have played it smarter. User Interface and Controls the user interface is clean, simple, and intuitive. There's no main menu, you just come straight into the game and choose a character. It's simple to navigate to the vendors and quickly gear out however you like. Once you've familiarized yourself with each mission type, you can quickly glance at them to figure out what equipment you'll need to complete them. The pause menu does everything it should and more. You can quickly find patch notes here, view your total playtime, and adjust your game options. There are also a few options for adjusting the difficulty and including completely disabling the permadeath mechanic on characters if you don't enjoy the roguelike aspect of the game. The controls seem very solid to me, even just playing with all default settings is perfectly fine. I've only played with mouse and keyboard, but the game was designed with controllers in mind, so I'm sure they work just as well. If any aspect of the controls are not to your liking, you can very easily rebind any controls in the options window. Graphics. It's a top-down 2D game, so there isn't anything incredible going on with the graphics. I do personally quite enjoy the art style they've gone with, but that will differ for people based on their taste. And as it's a 2D game, I've never experienced any sort of performance issues or hiccups. Audio There aren't any voiceovers for the dialogue in the game, but I don't believe it's needed. The story isn't vital enough to the enjoyment of the game that you'll need to listen to everything each character has to say. Although, there are some very funny moments if you do occasionally take the time to read through them. The music in this game is designed specifically for its different areas. You have one theme for when you're in a station, a different one for flying through space, a different one for fighting, and they all feel very fitting. The sound effects in this game work well. They communicate information quickly and consistently, and the gunshots and bodies falling to the ground prove to be quite satisfying. Final Thoughts Heat Signature is a simple idea, polished and perfected into an instant classic. If you're a fan of any sort of action game, I would highly recommend giving this game a chance. Even as a new player, you'll experience some amazing moments and feel brilliant as you manage to figure out your first difficult missions. It may not be something that will net you hundreds of hours of play, but it's a game that you'll remember and that will keep you coming back for more.